When you go to court, the first decision you have to make is judge or jury. Hi, I'm Bob Bowie from Bowie and Jensen. We do business work and I do business trial work. Let me give you an example. Recently, we represented four crabbers who had lost an entire catch of soft shell crabs because of the mistakes of a large corporation. The, the question was, should we choose a judge or a jury? And the crabbers said, we should definitely choose a jury. And I said, all right, sit next to me when we choose who to strike from that jury. The first person on the jury was a gentleman who sat quietly and the man next to me, the crabber said, choose him. And I said, okay, why? He said, he's my cousin's best friend. And I went, all right, that seems to work. We went to the second person. The second person was a lady. She had a magazine in front of her. He said, she, I think I would choose that person too. And I said, fine, why? He says, my sister uh, went to school with her. I said, all right. So we went through the entire panel. We didn't strike anybody. The jury, what we, we tried the case for a, a, a full week. The jury was out for 15 minutes. They came back and they ruled for the crabbers. There is a good example of a compassionate jury. You may not always be able to have your friends and family and live in Crisfield to be able to be on your jury, but you look for the people who will understand your case and be compassionate about it. In court, the same rules apply as in everyday life. You and your lawyer had better be polite and don't waste people's time. Hi, I'm Bob Bowie from Bowie and Jensen. We do business work and I do business trial work. Let me give you an example. We recently did a case in the U.S. District Court in Manhattan, and it was going to be long. It was going to go on for six to seven weeks. The jury, you could see when they got in panel, was suffering to, uh, from the start. So I made a decision. I knew that the lawyers in that case, there wasn't an argument that they didn't like. And so it was going to go on and on and on. And I decided I would go. And in the opening argument, I'd say, OK, look at me. This is what I'm going to make as a promise to you. I'm, not, I'm going to do this opening in 15 minutes and not a second more. And I'm going to do a closing at the end of this case in 15 minutes and not a second more. And I will be precise. So when we went through the entire cross and all the direct throughout the case, I leaned to the court reporter and I said, excuse me, will you please give me a transcript of everything that I asked and every answer I got? And then when the closing came, I took off my watch, I put it right on the lectern, and I said, remember my promise of 15 minutes? And the jury nodded, and I went, I'm going to deliver. So I went through, and I read the transcripts, and I read the responses, and I sat down within 15 minutes. When the jury came back, everybody got smoked except my people. And the reason is, we respected them, they respected us. Same rules apply as in the street. Don't waste people's time. Get to the subject and do the job. Thank you very much. Now, when litigation is filed, most people focus totally on blood and guts, revenge and money. That's a big mistake. Go talk to your lawyer about what you really want. That's the game. I'm Bob Bowie. Bowie and Jensen, we do business work, I do business litigation work. Now let me give you an example. Out in the western part of Maryland, it's not just money that controls. We represented recently a uh, farmer who had a lot of, a herd of dairy cows, and that's what he wanted. He wanted to be able to have as much land as possible. Well, the, uh, the local airport was condemning some of his land, and they didn't need to use it they just needed to have it. And so we got the maximum price for him. It was fantastic amounts of money. And I came back to him and I said, here it is. Here, here is the pot of gold. And he wasn't happy. And I couldn't figure out why. So we walked the land and we were talking. And I realized that what he was really interested in was the grazing land and the cattle. So I went back to the lawyer on the other side and I said, if you're not going to use this land, why can't he graze on it? And the lawyer thought for a second. He thought for a second. He said, well, that seems reasonable. So I went back to the, the farmer and I said, 
okay, have I got a deal for you? One, you get the pot of gold. Two, you get to graze this land. And three, it's tax-free. The tax-free is what closed the deal. He's now grazing his cattle on tax-free land. That's what was interesting to him. It wasn't the money. So just remember, you may want things other than money when it comes to resolving a dispute. Tell your lawyer. Public service is an integral part of Bowie and Jensen's daily life. Each lawyer has his or her own mission or charity. I chose Early College Awareness. It is designed to help children from less advantaged backgrounds who often have no college history in their backgrounds to prepare for college in the middle school. It's a four-step program. The first step is we bring people in on a Saturday to come and see successful college students who love what they're doing. The second step is at that same program, there is a financial aid specialist who comes and says college is affordable for everybody. This is what lights up the parents. The parents now believe. The third step is we show them what it takes to be able to prepare for college at the high school level, what courses, etc. And the fourth step is we show them a person who has, who has succeeded, someone who has transcended their background and gone through college and has a wonderful life. At the end of this program, you can feel the joy in that room. It is magnificent. The kids come up to you and they shake your hand. The parents come up to you and they say, I want more information about financial aid. There is hope, hope, hope that comes out of this. And it's unbelievable in a matter of three hours. It's now national through the help of the Harvard Club of, of Maryland and the Harvard Alumni Association. The mission is passionate for me. Education is available for everybody to the best of their potential. It's a national imperative.